I did some research on the Beartooth uh, uplift and I read some descriptions of the oldest rock that's in that uplift which is almost 3 billion years old and I think this is it. I think this is the material they're talking about and I believe they called it a granodiorite. This is a pretty nice chunk of it. Here you can really see the green. This is just a basalt. It's interesting to see the rind, you know, because these were dumped here by machines, some of them are broken, obviously. But the rind is really a light color. And some of them, here's another one with a chip on it. This one has, and I found a bunch of these last night. They're, I would say they're one of the more common rocks here. And it's a basalt that has a very rough rind. It feels like coarse sandpaper. So much so that when you spray it, the water seems to fairly quickly soak in. Some more than others. But I like how the rind is almost a very light gray and then the inside is a jet black. I keep hoping to find obsidian because obsidian kind of does this. Maybe green basalt. Nice. Be nice to come here on a rainy day. <laughs> I got excited when I saw this. I, at first I thought it was a pudding stone. I thought the it was one of those really dense pudding stones but it appears that it's one of those granodiorites that I was referring to earlier. Just a very coarse version of it. But yeah, I mean the, the crystals, the white or the lighter colored light green crystals are surrounded by the black rather than the black surrounded by the green. So that's why it gives it the pudding stone Look. I would have to say that compared to hunting along the Yellowstone, there are very few of these here. I'm showing this one because I just want to show that they do exist in this gravel deposit. What I believe is a rhyolitic porphyry. 